Let's walk good evening, everyone. It's a tough act to follow and um, very humbling. And I um, just want to say how proud I am to be partnered um, with this organization, um, with our collaboration with Wake County Schools and, and Night High School. Um, was asked tonight to um, offer an opportunity to talk a little bit more about our approach, and I think you'll see that it aligns really well with um, the work that um, is happening on the ground at Nightdale High School. And this is sort of an opportunity for us to zoom out a bit and look larger, more systemically at this type of work and how we approach it as an organization. I want to start with the why, just as Dr. Argent mentioned and Dr. McFarland mentioned. It's important for us to start with the why. This is what gets me up in the morning, this gets me working. Um, I was a classroom teacher for four years up in Warren County, um, and since I've joined new schools, um, it's really um, stuck with me. This mission that every student graduates ready for college, careers, and life, and providing the correct supports um, to ensure that, that happens. How we do it is to try to accelerate systemic and sustainable innovation in education. So our approach is built on three core components. Um, first of all, talent. So really understanding the value of the people that are involved in education, not only at the educator level, but also at the administrative level, both at the school and the district level. Building their knowledge and skills through professional learning, through coaching, and through networking. Second piece is design. And this is important. It's designing with, not designing for. To really work to align decisions and resources to move forward with student outcomes. And then finally, quality. Quality is about constant learning getting feedback, reflection, looking at data. And all of this is wrapped within a community context. Every community is unique. Every community has a unique challenges and assets. And that's something I want to come back to in just a few minutes. So I'll take a few moments to talk about some key takeaways from our work, um, sort of from that broader lens from throughout North Carolina and some of our emerging work um, even outside of North Carolina as well. These ideas are grounded in research and really backed up by what we've learned over the past 12 years of our existence as an organization in working with schools across the state. Four brief themes I want to touch on, and there's actually quite a bit of overlap with um, what you all mentioned there, so that's a nice surprise. Um, looking at community context, the importance of leadership, that personalization component, although I do like that learner agency title. Um, and then finally, um, leading with sustainability in mind. So again, every, content, every context of a community is unique. Um, we have the benefit of working with communities across North Carolina, and this benefits us in a number of ways. One, it allows us to really understand solutions that will work to drive forward student outcomes that align to the unique settings of each individual community. But there's also a lot of power in a network. In being able to bring together people with diverse experiences, backgrounds, and geography, it allows ideas to be shared and adapted to fit the context of those schools. It really is important for educators to be able to connect in that way. We also firmly believe that change cannot occur with an in-the-box solution that ignores the community context. So there's principles that guide our work, but we again have to look at those unique challenges and assets to make sure that the design is correct. Next, strong leadership is vital. And we know in this room that teacher, principal, and central office turnover in North Carolina is a huge issue right now. And it's really important for us as we're focusing on this to think about how we can share or distribute leadership, not only to gain the most from a team, but also as a strategy for sustainability in times of high degrees of turnover. Um, this not only drives empowerment, but it also um, allows that innovation to live beyond a single individual. We've also learned that support for innovation requires a direct collaboration between school and district partners. And this is really an area where our organization's evolved. Um, our initial theory of change was really focused on working at the school level and driving a school as a catalyst for innovation. But as we've learned, we missed out on a great opportunity that we're finally starting to see. And I think Nightdale is a perfect example of how a school and a district can collaborate together to drive innovation. That it's important that there's a shared common vision between school and district leadership, and that everyone's at the table when it comes to the design of a solution. Next, that big personalization piece. It creates the conditions for academic success. And so this not only includes the academic supports, but also those personalization pieces where every student feels cared about, every student has a voice, and you're really thinking about that there's a family-like atmosphere. And that's exactly what I heard whenever um, I was listening to the presentation about Nightdale. 
I want to zoom out for a moment, though, at the macro level and really think about what does personalization look like at the school level in terms of design. The school level personalization really focuses on recognizing those key assets and those key challenges that can, can drive the innovation within that context. The other piece, putting students at the center of learning, driving the success. This idea has been around for hundreds of years. I think we're on the brink of a renaissance of really understanding that this is the key to having a, an education system that aligns to 21st century skills and what students need. It's why we're um, really focused on um, this concept of competency-based education and how we put students at the center and focus on mastering concepts instead of time in a seat. It also respects that learning doesn't just happen at school. Learning happens in a variety of contexts. And every student, in order to become a lifelong learner, needs to be able to pursue their passions both inside and outside of the school building and see school as a support to drive their future forward, not as just something that where they're sitting and getting every day. Finally, this piece of sustainability. We have to lead with sustainability in mind. And honestly, this is the most challenging component to the work. How do we ensure that promising programs and practices live beyond a single funding source and beyond a single individual? One of the ways that we're looking at that right now is how do we scale this to make sure that um, supports can be gradually built in? It also has to do with building in um, a recognition of how to best utilize current policy landscapes. And I think Career and College Promise is a huge example of this. And that's part of our key strategy is trying to make sure that schools are preparing students early on so that they're meeting the credentials so that they can be ready to take advantage of college coursework in either a a uh, college transfer pathway or a CTE pathway to make sure that students are getting what they need and getting a taste of the post-secondary environment before they leave high school and they can make more informed choices and really put them back at the center. So again, these key takeaways, community context, leadership, personalization, and sustainability. And um, I hope that tonight in the panel that we're able to get a chance to um, think about how those key themes have adapted to the Nightdale work. Thank you.